Shares of Rigetti Computing, RGTI, IonQ, and several other quantum computing companies experienced a steep decline of over 40% on Wednesday. The sharp sell-off came after NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang made a striking statement during a discussion with Wall Street analysts. Huang suggested that the development of highly practical and impactful quantum computers may still be as far as two decades away. This comment has sent ripples across the quantum computing sector, shaking investor confidence and raising questions about the timeline for realizing the full potential of this cutting-edge technology. Quantum computing, it's been hailed as the future of technology, the next big leap that could revolutionize industries from healthcare to finance to artificial intelligence. These machines promise to solve problems that even the most powerful supercomputers of today can't touch, leveraging the strange and mind-bending laws of quantum physics. Companies like Rigetti Computing and IonQ have been at the forefront of this technological race, attracting attention and millions in investment as they work to turn the dream of quantum computing into reality. But here's the twist. This week, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, a pioneer in AI and one of tech's most respected voices, made a bold statement. He said useful quantum computing is still decades away. And that one statement has sent shockwaves through the quantum computing sector. Stocks for quantum players like Rigetti and IonQ plunged as investors reeled from the implications of his remarks. What does this mean for quantum computing as an industry? Is this a wake-up call to recalibrate expectations? Or simply a reality check on the steep road ahead? And most importantly, if you're an investor, what does this mean for your portfolio and the future of these once-promising quantum companies? In this video, we'll break down what Huang really meant the current state of quantum computing, and what's next for companies like Rigetti and IonQ. Are these stocks a lost cause, or is this just a temporary stumble in a much longer journey? Stay tuned to find out. First, please make sure you like this video, share it with friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video get at least 500 likes. It will help my channel greatly. Shares in the quantum computing sector took a massive hit, with Rigetti Computing, RGTI, dropping over 49%, and IonQ, down 47%. Other players weren't spared either. D-Wave Quantum, QBTS, saw a decline of 48%, while Quantum Computing Inc., QBT, plummeted by an even steeper 50%. The entire industry seemed to reel in the aftermath of NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang's remarks, raising concerns about the future prospects of these quantum pioneers. During the annual CES trade show in Las Vegas, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang shared his thoughts on the timeline for quantum computing when responding to a question from Evercore ISI analyst Mark Lipisys. Huang pointed out that quantum computing can't solve every problem, a sobering reminder that the technology has its limitations and isn't a universal solution. Huang further elaborated on the timeline for achieving impactful quantum computing. He stated, if you kind of said 15 years for very useful quantum computers, that'd probably be on the early side. If you said 30, it's probably on the late side. But if you pick 20, I think a whole bunch of us would believe it. This candid assessment not only tempers expectations, but also underscores the long and uncertain road ahead for quantum computing. His remarks have sparked debate across the tech and investment communities, highlighting the challenges of turning quantum dreams into practical, transformative solutions. Quantum computing stocks had been on a remarkable rally in late November and throughout December, as growing optimism and rapid technological developments fueled expectations that the quantum era might arrive sooner than anticipated. Investors were energized by breakthroughs and high-profile announcements that seemed to hint at accelerating progress in the field. In November, Amazon made a splash by launching a quantum computing advisory program through AWS. The initiative, Amazon said, was designed to help its cloud customers get ready for quantum computing, sparking excitement about the tech giant's growing commitment to the space. Around the same time, IonQ announced on November 18th that it had successfully integrated NVIDIA's quantum computing developer kit with its hardware, marking a significant step toward creating a robust quantum ecosystem. Meanwhile, Quantum Computing Inc. reported it had received advanced chips that would play a key role in pushing forward its quantum software solutions. These developments contributed to a wave of enthusiasm, pushing quantum computing stocks higher as investors bet on an accelerating timeline for the technology's adoption. However, as recent events have shown, the road to realizing the full potential of quantum computing may still be longer and more uncertain than many had hoped. The quantum computing industry received significant validation from the U.S. government late last year, marking a milestone for the sector. On December 3rd, 
a group of bipartisan U.S. senators introduced a bill to reauthorize the 2018 National Quantum Initiative Act. This legislation pledged an additional $2.7 billion in funding for quantum computing research, with a focus on developing practical applications for the technology. This substantial investment underscored the government's confidence in quantum computing as a critical frontier in innovation and competition. Just days later, on December 9th, Google made headlines by unveiling a new quantum computing chip called Willow. The company claimed the chip represented a breakthrough in power efficiency and error reduction, two of the biggest challenges in quantum computing. Unlike traditional systems, which often become more error-prone as they grow in power, Google said Willow tackled this issue directly, bringing the dream of reliable, scalable quantum computing one step closer to reality. Even after the steep sell-off on Wednesday, quantum computing stocks have delivered staggering returns over the past six months. Quantum Computing Inc. remains up nearly 1-400% from six months ago, while Rigetti has surged more than 850%, D-Wave has climbed 360%, and IonQ has risen 265% in the same period. Despite the recent turbulence, the sector's dramatic gains reflect the enormous long-term optimism surrounding quantum computing's potential to transform industries. Despite his cautious outlook on the timeline for quantum computing, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang made it clear that his company remains committed to supporting the emerging technology. Huang revealed that NVIDIA is actively collaborating with just about every quantum computing company, demonstrating the company's belief in quantum's long-term potential. While NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang believes practical quantum computing is still decades away, the company is strategically positioning itself to play a key role in the industry's development. Despite his cautious timeline, Huang affirmed that NVIDIA is actively collaborating with just about every quantum computing company. This highlights the company's deep involvement in shaping the future of quantum technology, even if its full potential remains years ahead. In 2022, NVIDIA took a major step toward supporting quantum innovation by extending its CUDA Software Development Kit, SDK, to quantum software developers. CUDA, originally designed to power artificial intelligence, AI, and high-performance computing applications, is now being adapted to assist quantum developers in creating hybrid quantum classical workflows. This is critical, as many experts believe that the near-term value of quantum computing lies in its ability to work alongside classical systems in solving complex problems. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, take a quick moment to smash that like button. It really helps this channel grow and allows me to keep bringing you awesome content like this. NVIDIA's CUDA Quantum Platform allows developers to build algorithms that can run efficiently across both traditional GPUs and emerging quantum processors. NVIDIA's bet on quantum goes beyond software tools. The company has also developed its QQuantum SDK, a set of libraries and tools for simulating quantum circuits on classical supercomputers. This simulation capability is invaluable for researchers and quantum startups as they refine quantum algorithms and experiment with quantum hardware designs without requiring access to costly and limited quantum machines. From an investor's perspective, NVIDIA's measured approach to quantum computing makes it a key enabler in the sector without the risks associated with directly building quantum hardware. By focusing on hybrid computing solutions and empowering quantum developers, NVIDIA positions itself to benefit from the growth of the quantum industry without overextending its resources in a technology that is still maturing. This strategy not only diversifies NVIDIA's portfolio, but also ensures it remains indispensable in the evolution of quantum computing over the long term. However, Huang emphasized that NVIDIA will continue prioritizing accelerated computing, which serves as a critical complement to quantum computing rather than directly building quantum hardware or diving headfirst into the quantum space. Accelerated computing, powered by NVIDIA's industry-leading GPUs and software tools, is essential for addressing computational bottlenecks in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and high-performance computing. It also plays a pivotal role in quantum computing's near-term use cases, where hybrid systems, combining classical and quantum computing, are expected to dominate. By focusing on technologies like GPU acceleration and CUDA quantum, NVIDIA ensures that classical systems remain efficient and capable of handling the pre- and post-processing of data for quantum applications. This approach aligns with the current state of the quantum industry, where quantum processors, qubits, are still limited by error rates, scalability challenges, and the need for seamless integration with classical infrastructure. 
NVIDIA's focus on accelerated computing positions the company to address these challenges while enabling the quantum sector to gradually mature. For investors, this strategy reflects a balanced and pragmatic approach, ensuring NVIDIA continues to lead in its core markets while remaining a critical partner for quantum companies as the technology evolves. All right, guys, if you're finding this content helpful, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel to grow. Thank you. In the realm of quantum computing, it turns out you need a classical computer to handle error correction alongside the quantum computer, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang explained to analysts. And that classical computer better be the fastest computer humanity can build, and that happens to be us. This statement underscores the indispensable role of classical computing in quantum systems, particularly for error correction, which is one of the biggest technical challenges facing quantum computing today. Quantum processors, or qubits, are inherently fragile and prone to errors due to environmental interference and operational instability. To make quantum computing viable, massive computational power is required to detect and correct these errors in real time, an area where NVIDIA's high-performance GPUs excel. Huang's remarks reinforce NVIDIA's strategic focus on hybrid systems, where classical computing works hand-in-hand -hand with quantum systems. By providing the fastest classical computing infrastructure available, NVIDIA positions itself as an integral partner in the quantum revolution. This symbiotic relationship ensures that NVIDIA remains at the center of quantum computing advancements without directly building quantum hardware. For investors, this is a crucial insight. It means that NVIDIA is not only securing its leadership in accelerated computing, but also aligning its offerings with the growing demands of the quantum computing industry. This hybrid strategy ensures that NVIDIA captures value from quantum developments while minimizing the risks associated with the immature and unpredictable nature of quantum hardware. In essence, NVIDIA is placing itself as the backbone of quantum computing's future while maintaining dominance in its current markets. As we've seen, the quantum computing industry is facing some turbulence after NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang's bold statement, but this is far from the end of the road. While it may take decades for quantum computers to become truly useful, NVIDIA's strategic involvement ensures the company will remain a key player as the industry develops. By focusing on hybrid computing, where classical systems complement quantum technology, NVIDIA is positioning itself to benefit from the long-term growth of quantum computing, all while continuing to lead the way in AI and accelerated computing. For investors, this shift presents both challenges and opportunities. Companies like Rigetti, IonQ, and D-Wave have seen huge returns in recent months, but with the tech still maturing, volatility is expected. Whether you're an investor or just a tech enthusiast, it's clear that quantum computing will remain a sector to watch in the coming years. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest in technology and investing. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of tech and the future of quantum computing.